Hello there. You're watching the English news of Lao Cai Radio and Televisions. In today's program, we'll check up the following headlines. Thirteen community-based tourism sites in Lao Cai have been recognized. The traditional New Year of Nung people in Bakha District. From ideas to useful products by students. And now are the details. Lao Cai Youth Association commended outstanding young teacher, excellent students, and diligent students for 2023-2024 school year. 17 outstanding young teachers, 3 excellent students, 47 good students, and 2 good students in training. And collectives and individuals with outstanding achievements in the youth union, young pioneers and children's movement in 2024 were commended by the provincial youth union. In recent years, the movement of excellent students, good students, and good students in training has been widely implemented and received enthusiastic responses from students, young teachers throughout the province. The movement has created a dynamic environment for students, young teachers to enthusiastically study, research, create, emulate good teaching and learning, contributing to the overall success of the province's education cause. Lao Cai boasts 13 recognized community-based tourism sites, accounting for 35% of the total. Community-based tourism is concentrated mainly in the town of S.A. Pine Bac Ha District and is gradually expanding to Batak Sati and Bayan districts with a variety of tourism services and products associated with the traditional cultural identity of ethnic groups. The province also has three homestay groups that have been recognized by the ASEAN Tourism Association as meeting ASEAN homestay standards. Community-based tourism is creating jobs for about 2,000 workers in the province. The average income of households engaged in community-based tourism is from 50 to 70 million dong year, with some households reaching 150 to 200 million dong year. The durian harvest season is in full swing leading to a surge in export through the Lao Cai Border Gate. At Kim Thun International Border Gate No. 2, on average, about 200 trucks of fruit are exported to China each day, half of which are trucks carrying durian. Currently, re durian is being purchased and exported to China by traders at high prices, with each truck of goods exported having a value of from 1.1 billion don to 1.5 billion don. Since the beginning of 2024, the total value of goods exported and imported through Lao Cai border gate has reached over 1.1 billion USD, in which the majority is the export of durian with over 100,000 tons export turnover reaching about 540 million USD, doubling compared to the same period last year. In response to the complex situation of deep area in some province, the Lao Cai health sector is proactively taking measures to prevent and control the disease. In addition to regularly monitoring and updating information on the diphtheria outbreak nationwide to proactively develop response and treatment plans, the provincial health sector has also strengthened surveillance, early detection, and timely prevention of the spread of diphtheria in the community. They recommend that people get vaccinated against the disease and proactively take appropriate preventive measures such as wearing masks in crowded places and maintaining a clean living environment. If you suspect you have the disease, go to the nearest medical facility for examination and advice. Sapa Town Ethnic Affairs Office launched a communication campaign to reduce early marriage, consanguineous marriage and underage pregnancies. With integrated and vivid forms of communication, the seminar discussed the harms of child marriage and incestuous marriage guidelines and policies of the party and the state on reducing child marriage and inbreeding in ethnic minority areas. In order to contribute to raising people's awareness and responsibility in implementing the provisions of the law on marriage and family. In the first half of this year, Sapa Town did not have inbreeding marriages. There were 44 ethnic minority women under the age of 18 giving birth for the first time. Localities have organized 89 propaganda sessions on the law on marriage and family, attracting more than 6,400 participants. In addition to celebrating the Lunar New Year, 
The Nung ethnic minority also observed their own traditional New Year on the first day of the six lunar months, featuring a variety of culturally rich activities. This report comes from our correspondent in Ta Chai Commune, Bakha District. On the morning of the first day of the sixth lunar month, when the sun had not yet risen, the family of Mr. Vang Van Jiang, in Ta Chai Commune, Bakha District had finished preparing the first offering to Rayon Tete. The tree of offerings to heaven and earth and gods includes everyday products. The offerings to heaven and earth and the gods have the meaning of reporting to heaven and earth, gods, ancestors about the results of production, praying for a new production crop with favorable rains, harmonious winds, healthy and prosperous descendants. Paying homage to the four cardinal directions, the Vang family celebrates the first day of the sixth lunar month, seeking blessings for prosperity and good fortune. After the sacrifice of heaven and earth, the gods, each house prepares a tray to worship the ancestors. The offering tray must have muscovy duck, duck, seven colored sticky rice and duck eggs dyed red. For the women of the Nung ethnic group, when they can personally prepare a tray to worship their ancestors on this day, one dash two days before Tet, I was excited and looking forward to Tet. Prepared indispensable offerings on Tet day such as delicious glutinous rice, trees and leaves to soak in colors to make sticky rice. Happy to be a young class of people to inherit and promote the traditional cultural beauty of the Nung ethnic group for future generations. The June Tet of the Nung people of Tachai commune in particular, Bakha district in general only takes place in one day. This is a beauty in the cultural and spiritual life of the Nung ethnic group that is preserved, promoted, and enriched the traditional cultural treasures of the ethnic communities in Lao Cai. Driven by the desire to create practical products for learning purposes, students at some school in Lao Cai have researched and developed unique models that can be applied to real-world teaching. These products not only allow students to fulfill their passion for creativity, but also provide opportunity to apply their acquired knowledge to practical situations. The model of the industrial exhaust gas treatment system of students of Nam Mun Secondary School for Disabled and Disabled Development, Bak Ha District was born after an experienced trip to Tunglung Industrial Park, Baofang District. Using 100% recycled materials are plastic sheets, used bottles, old fan motors, etc. The product simulates the treatment of industrial exhaust gases that pollute the environment into liquid CO2 and SO2 for reuse. The most difficult part of our product is the incinerator, because the materials we are looking for do not meet the high temperature requirements of 1200 degrees Celsius. So we changed it to simulating the process. Through implementation, we have learned a lot of useful knowledge about physics and chemistry. The transmission model of electromagnetic waves is the product of a group of students from Lee Kuidan Secondary School. Stemming from wanting to understand how phone waves can connect to each other when thousands of kilometers away, these students came up with the idea of researching and creating a product that can be clearly simulated the transmission line of electromagnetic waves. I have gained a lot of knowledge and practice teamwork. I also learned presentations which helped me be more confident. And I have learned a lot of knowledge about science such as electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic waves. When making this product, the most difficult thing is to perform the transmission line with a laser, but to do it, there must be a smoke generation system. The students experimented with many different ways together, and in the end, the product worked well, the laser was clear. The scientific and technical innovation movement in schools is increasingly attracting a large number of students to participate. With their creativity and ingenuity, they have produced a lot of interesting and unique products, which is a good opportunity for them to experience and promote creative ideas in scientific and technical research, linking theory with practice from practical problems in daily life. Our program is ending. Thank you for your attention.